Testing one two three. Testing one two three. So if I bring this, you will notice that there is what we call the residue of the flux that we used, the gunkiness of it. Although this was more of a liquid application, so less gunk, but still residue exists there, especially in the areas that we, yeah. Uh, as well as on this side. And what I want to highlight is that it is dirty, there's flux on it, and likewise on these as well. So in order to do this, so the entire process of soldering, we're not even done yet. Because now we have to do the cleaning portion of it. And I shall be using some 70%, well, not the best. You might use acetone, you might use actual flux removal, but 70% um, rubbing alcohol, just isopropyl alcohol, is sufficient for what we have here with our handy dandy Q tips. And of course, you should get the actual Q tips. Okay, at this point, it's not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't really matter because, well, okay, what doesn't matter? There are a lot of off-brand Q-tips that are not technically Q-tips, they're just cotton swaps or just cotton on stick. <laughs> and those, we don't recommend you use them for anything health-related, like if you're trying to put it in your ear or, or something. Uh, because quality matters, and if you were doing something healthcare-related, maybe only go for this brand. Uh, this is not healthcare related. This is we're just cleaning off some gunkiness. So I guess you could use some off-brand Q-tips for it. It just needs to observe the alcohol, and the cotton hopefully won't remove or leave there. So I'm just gonna pour some of this stuff here into the bottle, and hopefully that's all I need. We'll see. I'm not gonna double dip. I'm going to avoid any sort of double dipping. And uh, yeah, just put it in there, let it observe, absorb, and uh, try to get as much of this funkiness out as possible. And already you can see how this is turning yellow, 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 yellow. You can imagine how this could be earwax. Oh, hmm. Well, some areas I'm actually seeing this now since I've soldered it. I wonder if some of these, well, they're covered. Yeah, some of the pins don't look like they're. It doesn't have the perfect conical shape that occurs when you solder a pin through a hole. Now, I am not going to double dip. I am simply going to flip this. Ew, and look how it looks so disgusting. I'm going to flip this, and I'll start on the other side. So the idea is that the cotton will observe the residue, and that's how the cleaning will occur. I certainly do not want to be accused of double dipping here. I know it's not salsa chip, but salsa, salsa chip. Container for the chips by the... I like pouring alcohol into that cap just because it's already there. And when I use this alcohol again, I want it to be clean, right? You don't want to have flux floating around in there. So at this point, we throw this away into the garbage adjacent to me. Ah, uh, uh, one flew out. I'll go for this stuff now. And again, just put cotton area here and bam. Just try to clean out some of the residue. Uh, some people with the equipment will just use an ultrasonic cleaner. Which to me just seems like it's a bit of a heater and then it just has a vibrator in there. Probably at an ultrasonic frequency. So it's supposed to have kilohertz, megahertz. That technically would make it ultrasonic. An ultrasonic vibrator. And that'll just help clean. Me, I'm just rubbing this cotton swap 
cotton swap on a stick onto the PCB, hoping to observe some of the flux. And uh, for my purposes, that will be the definition of clean ish. Let's just do one more, just in case. Du, 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 du. Cleaning, 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 cleaning. In between, it's like brushing your teeth, just brushing your pants. Uh, some people would use a toothbrush. I happen to have a really clean toothbrush I use for my own personal needs and it's not ready to be recycled into a PCB cleaner. And uh, I'll do this one more time just to give it a second go at it. Clean, clean, clean. Want to keep it clean. Maybe we get the sides here. Okay, all right, that should be good enough. So we'll put this on the side. Now let's do this. So the the flux, I didn't exactly check, but if it's from Ryzen, then there's probably already, it, it might be a solution with some, well not really a solution, there might be some, uh, it could be like 90% actual Ryzen and then maybe some uh, alcohol already in it, in which case... I'm what I'm doing here is I'm just diluting it more with what's similarly already in it. Assuming it's alcohol, I don't know what kind of alcohol they'd be using. Uh, this is I, I'm using isopropyl, I the isopropyl here. They might put it into a mixture with something else. So uh, just again, just cleaning. <laughs> cleaning and absorbing as much as much gunk as we can. Cool, let's see the other one.
-hmm. And, uh, well, I should be done right now. Should be. Uh, I still have some extra alcohol here and I have some more swaps so I'm just going to give it another go. Apparently, that one cap, that one bottle cap, had more than enough alcohol. Yeah, next time, depending on how much I'm soldering, maybe that's all I really, like I should just pour in half a cup. But then again, I'm still getting some residue off, even right now on my second go around. So had I stopped the first time, I definitely wouldn't have gotten everything. Out. <laughs> mm, actually, I'm almost out. So maybe I had just enough. Yeah, I'm almost out. And the alcohol is already dissolving from the board. You can see it in real time here. It dissolves really quick. Yeah, basically at room temperature, this alcohol will dissolve. And in theory, some alcohol should probably be dissolving from this bottle right now as I'm speaking. That or maybe, well, I guess more would have dissolved from this container here. I don't believe I have to clean this at the bottom. I don't think I do. I'll number go here on top. Uh, this chip, technically a micro machine. Micro, micro machine. There's some sort of mass there. And something that you can model as a spring and something that you can model as a damper. And there's some either voltages or resistance values that are changing. Resistance values that are changing in there as it moves around. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Basically I used most of it. Most of it. Wait, what am I cleaning? I have nothing to clean. I cleaned it already. One last time. Just one last time. Make this one quick. Nothing. So I probably took too many. Yeah, two too many. One, two are left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think we did it here. Cool. And uh, I don't know. I'll just pour this in here. 
Do, do, do. Drop, 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 and there are no more drops left. Clean, 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 evaporate. Hmm. Spread it. Well, the idea of cleaning, the I guess the strategy is dilute it and then absorb it with the cloth. The well, this cotton swab. Um, well, we have one left. Oh, how to be wasteful. Oh, to be wasteful. But that's it. It's definitely much cleaner. There's some cloth here. What's that sound? I heard something. Hmm. Um, yeah, much cleaner than before. And I'm actually not afraid to touch it now. Okay, so yeah, now we're finished.